In this demo, we'll walk through how you can use the new Telnix nodes on N8N to auto-schedule calls from your voice agents. So create a new workflow, then let's add a new node, search for Telnix AI, and then select create a scheduled event. So here you need to add your Telnix credentials. If you haven't already, create a new credential. Then you need to go to your Telnix account, go to API keys, and let's create a new API key. So we can call this whatever you want. Let's call it N8N demo. And then let's copy the key. And we paste it in here. Resource assistant event. Operation is create. Create a new scheduled event for an assistant. Then from list. So here it will show all the AI assistants I have in my portal by assistant ID or I can just copy and paste in my assistant ID. You can see all of your AI assistants here under AI storage and compute, AI assistants. So for this one, I want to use my sales agent so I can copy my assistant ID back to N8N and paste it in here. So conversation channel is a phone call. I could also have selected SMS. And user target is the phone number the agent should call. So when we add more nodes, you can get this value from previous nodes, but I'm just going to manually put in a value here. Agent target. So this is the phone number of your AI agent that's associated with this assistant ID. So we can get that in the Telnix portal again. So I'll go into edit my agent. And then under calling, I can see what the phone number is. So I'll copy that, bring it back to N8N and paste it here. Going to remove the hyphens just to have the number and then scheduled at. Again, this is a value we'd probably want to bring from existing nodes in production, but I can just put in manually a time here um, just to test it out. And then when I click execute step, so this call has now been scheduled and the agent will call this number at the time here. What will that actually sound like or what will the agent say when it calls me? So let's test it out. Hello, it's Salesy from Telnix. Thanks for booking a call to discuss voice AI solutions. Quick question before we jump in. What's the most important thing you'd like to get out of our time together today? I'm trying to understand uh, why I should use Telnix instead of Vapi. Great question. I'll explain what makes Telnix different and better than Vapi. First, let's talk about speed. Vapi has a latency of... Okay, you get the idea. So let's make this a bit more useful. Say we wanted this agent to be scheduled to call and um, when a customer, say, books a call. So, so I've set up this calendar here. And what I want is when someone books a call on my calendar, that the agent will be auto-scheduled to call them at that time. So how can we do that? Let's add um, a Calendly node as the execution point instead of this one here. So I'll search for Calendly and select on event created. So I already have this Calendly account added, but you could create a new credential. But here you need to log into your developer account on Calendly, select create a new app. Let's just call this an N demo. And then we take the URI here and we paste it here, save and continue. And then I need to copy these things back into N8N. So it wants the client ID, the client secret, and that's all. So I select connect my account. Okay, looks like that was a success. Let's try it out. Um, execute step. It's listening for me to create an event in Calendly. So let's select this time. I can put in my details and then my phone number and then schedule an event. Let me just make sure that this is still listening. Yes, it is. Okay, schedule event. And now hopefully this has, yeah, okay. So that worked and here's what we got back. So I'm just going to pin this so we can use it and then back to canvas. 
oh, we want to actually bring this over here because this is our trigger and then let's connect it to the next node. So if we go back here now, instead of using end user target that I put in manually, we're going to want to take that from the input. So the value we're looking for is actually called location because that gives us the phone number. So here it is. So I just drag that in to end user target. So that's the number that the agent will call or agent target can stay the same. And we also want to update scheduled at to be the time that the customer booked the call at through Calendly. So we're looking for start time. It's here. You need to be careful about time zones. Just make sure to double check that you have everything set to the same time zone. And then when I click execute step, again, it will schedule uh, the agent to call. So there it is, it worked. So now our agent is scheduled to call. So if I go back to Canvas, this workflow is ready. I can unpin this data here. And then when I set this to be active, every time someone books an appointment on my Calendly, this agent will be set to call them at that time. 